And here's a quick little video review of the uh, War Machine and Mark V armor Iron Man Mini Mates. Um, again, like I said in my other little quick review, uh, they're Mini Mates. Uh, you know what the posability is. War Machine has the extra armor piece here. Um, th these pieces come as separate pieces, the gun and the, uh, the missile launcher, they can come off. Um, if you like, you can switch them up. Uh, you can switch them to the other side. The gun can at least go on the other side. This is designed to only be on the, uh, the left shoulder there. Um, but there's that. Um, and here's the Mark V armor. I mean, you see he doesn't have the full chest plate. He's just got kind of an upper top, upper half chest plate. Uh, probably re representing the fact that it's a smaller, lighter armor just made out of a briefcase. Um, he does not come with the uh, open faceplate helmet. He does have an angry face inside. Um, partially because if you watch the, if you've seen the trailer, the silver faceplate kind of forms from several different pieces, so it probably doesn't flip up. Um, he does, however, come with the uh, Tony Stark hair, so you can make him look like. Actually, you can make him look like my friend Richard Rush. That's uh, <laughs> exactly who that mini mate looks like. Looks like my friend Richard. Anyway, uh, pop that off. Put that back on. Um, I, or War Machine does come with a. Jim Rhodes head underneath there. Um, he already has his hair painted on, and um, and just like the uh, the Mark IV, he does also come with an open faceplate helmet. Just a nice little added feature that they didn't have to do, but they did, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, other than that, nothing outside of standard Mini Mate features. Um, just nice little representations of the armors from the the new movie which I'm going to go see on Thursday night. I can't wait to see it. But there it is, uh, War Machine and the Mark V Mini Mates.